we want to determine the area bounded by f of x equals cosine x and g of x equals sine x on the closed interval from pi over 4 to 5 pi over 4. Now the reason they give us a specific interval for these two functions is, notice by the graph, they have an infinite number of intersection points and therefore the bounded area would be infinite unless we considered it on a specific interval. So our goal here is to determine the area of the bounded region, which should be the area of this blue shaded region. In order to do these types of problems, we really need two things. We first need to determine the x-coordinates of the points of intersection. We'll use those as our limits of integration. And then when we set up the integrand, we have to have the top function minus the bottom function. So it is important that we graph both functions on the same coordinate plane. So we can see from the graph, the x-coordinate of this point of intersection is pi over 4. And the x-coordinate of this point of intersection is 5 pi over 4. So these will be our limits of integration. If we had to determine these values by hand, and they weren't at the endpoints of this interval, we'd have to set the two functions equal to each other and solve for x. The area of the bounded region on this interval would be equal to the definite integral from pi over 4 to 5 pi over 4. And the integrand has to be the top function minus the bottom function. So we'll have sine x minus cosine x. So the antiderivative of sine x would be negative cosine x minus the antiderivative of cosine x is sine x. And we'll evaluate this at 5 pi over 4 and then pi over 4 and determine the difference. Now we're going to replace x with 5 pi over 4. Then replace x with pi over 4. And for review, let's go ahead and sketch these two reference triangles. Pi over 4 would be 45 degrees right here. So a reference triangle would have legs of length 1 and the hypotenuse square root 2. And then 5 pi over 4 would be in the third quadrant over here. With a 45 degree reference angle, but both legs would be negative 1 and the hypotenuse would be square root 2. So cosine 5 pi over 4 would be negative 1 over square root 2, or negative square root 2 over 2. But we do have a negative here, so it's going to be positive square root 2 over 2 minus sine 5 pi over 4 is going to be negative square root 2 over 2 as well. And then we'll have negative cosine pi over 4. It's going to be negative square root 2 over 2 minus sine pi over 4 is going to be positive square root 2 over 2. So here we're going to have 2 square root 2 plus 2 square root 2. That's, that's going to be 2 square root 2 over 2, or just square root 2, minus, and then we'll have negative 2 square root 2 over 2, or just negative square root 2. So the total area of the bounded region will be 2 square root 2 square units. And that's it for this example.